class that you don't look at it until I tell you to. So what are you passionate about in your job? What gets you excited to get out of bed and go to work every single day? A lot of the reward for my job comes from just kind of working with other people. I mean, I, I really enjoy kind of the team that I'm with um, and just the company that I work for. Just kind of the culture is really molding me to be, you know, the professional, uh, successful person that I strive to be. I have the ability to make an impact on people's lives. I have the ability to help them develop their talents. I mean, dream job, I love to sing, so, you know, <laughs> something that would allow me to do that. I've been in recruiting for a long time, and actually I think it's my dream job because I do make an impact and I love meeting people. For me, I need to have the challenge. Always. I mean, that, that would be a dream job, but I would say fast-paced, a lot of interaction, communication. Doesn't have to do with money, doesn't have to do with the hours that you're working. I really think it's something that you're passionate about, something that you care about doing every day. All right, so imagine you're in an office, you're waiting for an interview um, for a job position. Uh, you've been preparing for it for a really long time, so you know that you qualify for this job. You're fairly confident that you're going to do really well. Uh, the person that's supposed to interview you comes out of the office, takes one look at you, turns to their secretary, and tells them to send you home because of what's written on that name tag. If you want to go ahead and read what's on there. Um, neglectful. If I was waiting for an interview and someone told me that I had to go home because I was a problem, I would be extremely offended. Devastated, I think, because, you know, me, what I feel about myself is that I am reliable. So it's someone just having looked at me and, and made a judgment without knowing me um, would definitely hurt me. That was their first impression of you. <clears throat> yep, incompetent. I would say that the hiring manager was the one who was incompetent. They didn't do their job. I don't think anybody should be able to just look at me and deny me from thinking that I, I look lazy. That would be some type of stereotyping. That actually saddens me because I'm sure that this has occurred in, in more than one place. And it's unfortunate because um, as business, not only leaders, but people are, that are in positions to um, hire, um, you know, people, it's unfortunate that you have those stigmas in the mind. It's called unconscious bias. And I think that we need to do more so that we understand that everyone has or should be given equal opportunity. Sometimes just our society seems to believe that right now, that, but I definitely think that it's something that can change. It's a voice from the people challenging businesses to hire. We want to work to help people because there is a stigma. People are afraid, and so I don't think it's fair at all. I think people just don't know how to engage, and so they're afraid of it. The first thing that came to my head was I care, and I feel like someone who's neglectful doesn't care, and I want people to know that I do care, and that we all should care, and that we should care about each other, we should care about change, and the more we care about each other, I think the more we can help each other and really come together.